I've been harvesting shellfish for around 35 years. Dan Fortin makes his living by digging through the mud of McCoy Bay in Brunswick, Maine. In the past, he's focused on soft shell clams, the ones that end up as steamers on your plate in the summer. But last year, an invasion of European green crabs literally swarmed their way into the clam flats, eating everything in their path, including clams and the eelgrass, an important habitat for the marsh. What you used to see, what you look out out here now is brown. It used to be solid green with eelgrass. The eelgrass is gone, and so are most of the smaller and medium-sized clams. So this season, Dan Fortin switched his crop to cohogs. They are bigger clams with a harder shell that helps protect them from the crabs. Cohogs are big business in the mid-Atlantic states. That hasn't been the case in Maine, but their numbers look to be increasing. Seeing these cohogs come in and settle in such numbers in natural sets is a silver lining to global climate change. Darcy Kutcher is a scientist who is part of a team studying whether there is evidence to back up the anecdotal claims of more cohogs in McCoy Bay. The town of Brunswick is funding this first-of-its-kind study at a cost of $25,000. An airboat takes the team to a net where they recently hand-planted hundreds of cohogs. Each one was notched before it went into the mud so they can see growth over time. We took their length, their height, and also their thickness. They will leave them in the mud until next fall, but early signs look good. They're healthy, they're happy, and the best is that they're laying down new shell. Brunswick's Marine Warden will use the results of the study to help figure out the best way to manage this growing resource. With the influx of cohogs, the more softshell clam harvesters are able to diversify their harvests, um, the better off they'll be long term. Dan Fortin says he's not making as much money with cohogs, but it's close to his softshell numbers. And while it's more work to bring them out of the mud, at least they are there to harvest. In Brunswick, Marnie McLean, News Center.